All right, here we go. Uh, this is the 2020 Leaf Football Mixer. It's four boxes of Leaf Ultimate Draft Baseball and four boxes of Leaf Metal Draft Hobby. Uh, these are your teams. Thank you, everybody, very much. We appreciate it. Good luck to you. At this point, that's just the game. Buy and wait. If you're buying and selling immediately right now, I don't think you're doing yourself any favors because more and more and more and more people are coming in. And they're coming in with lots of money. We're in a crazy investment market. People are looking to diversify because they don't like what people can do on their own to manipulate the major markets. So they want to move into physical assets. Used to be gold and silver. Now it's sports cards, art, Pokemon, nostalgia. That's where we're at. So my thoughts on nineteen twenty basketball. in terms of a long-term hold. Is not positive. I want to be positive, but really there's two players holding the draft. Or holding that class. And... Uh, those two players are extremely physical and extremely injury prone to what they put their bodies through. Job ja Morant plays basketball like Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose was the face of the NBA for three years. Derrick Rose was the MVP over LeBron James. Where's Derek Rose now? Is Derek Rose Ja Morant? Can Ja Morant stay healthy enough to never have a uh, talent um, alternate, alternating injury? I don't know. No one knows, but... It's extremely likely with how athletic he is and how he gets to the hole and how he's not that big and how he gets knocked down so hard. Like Derrick Rose. <clears throat> and then there's Zion. What are you going to do with Zion? What is Zion? See Charles Barkley? What is he? Is he Dominique Wilkins? See both of them? Is he none of them? What are we looking at with him? It's a good way to start. Pete Crow Armstrong to 75. Garrett Mitchell, nice.
Austin Hendricks. Christian Rowe. It's a fun design. Uh, Slade Sikelmi. Because they probably haven't figured out how much of it they want to pr print yet. How many different skews there'll be. How much is going to Asia. Ed Howard to 75. That's nice. Shooter. Anyway, do your own research. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of help in your research. I'm no expert. These are not things that I pay attention to. I am not a single cart. I, I collect carts. That's what I do. I collect cards. I open cards. I sell the cards that I open. That's what I do. Not an investor, flipper, extreme like, oh, do this, do that guy. P. Helplin to 50. Oh, we got a redemption for who? Rolancy Contreras. Nice. That's a nice card. A nine? Holy cow. Are you going to keep it as a BGS or are you going to cross it over? Kyle Nicholas, two out of 50. A nice autograph is always appreciated. Especially now that we know how many autographs they sign. Uh, Basabe. Two nine five. Oh, yeah. What are the nines? I suppose there could have been an eight five too, but I'm assuming the other two subgrades were nine. Which were they? Because it's chrome. Maybe you could bust it and clean it. Zach Veen to 50. If it's surfy or if it's surfacy, or maybe there's sloppy edges with strings hanging off of it, you could wipe those down off. Not alter it, not cut it, not shave it, not trim it, but you know, just take off the wispies Go like that. That's okay. It's not altering the car that's getting the shit off of it. And they grade that. You leave it hanging there. You're going to get knocked. Miguel Vargas. Oh, yeah, don't. Nothing to do. Centering's 8-5. You're done. You're only getting a 9. You're good. Luis Angel Acuna. Where's the tail day? Come on. You know who he is. A Rangers. Ben Hernandez to 75. I hate this color, but for some reason, I really like this card. It's like the color of my new office walls that I'm going to paint. 
Uh, Justin Lange to 75. Masail Urbina to uh, to fifty, and Garrett Crotchet for Weibo White Sox. Ooh. I don't know. I would wait a while. Uh, PSA is in the middle of a merger. BGS is in the middle of turmoil. Their owner, parent owner, just went to prison for bribing government officials to the tune of over $12 million. So, yeah, the grading companies are not in the most stable place right now. PSA is way ahead of anything else. But they may have some organizational problems going through the merger. They just got bought. So it's not really a merger, but more of a uh, acquisition. But who are they going to keep? How are they going to restructure things? What's going to change? You don't know what's going to happen if you send them in, blah, blah, blah. Ronnie Mauricio to 75. Shane Cullen a 101. Austin Wells. Daniel Cabrera to 75. Yeah, they're hiring big time. They <laughs> A lot of extra money right now. Casey Schmidt. I have a fat tongue. Uh, Casey Schmidt, 58 out of 75. <laughs> uh, well, you know, he's a hustler. He's going to get it done. Mets are going to win the World Series a couple times in the next decade. Luis Rodriguez, 10 out of 25. Everyone said, no, Mark Cuban's a fucking idiot. He won't win a championship. But he did. He beat a super team. And 101 plate. 101 plates don't count as calling out a 101. Sammy Infante, Magenta. Still waiting for your one one, Shane. Sorry, I changed the rules on you. All right, metal, here we go. It's what you want, right? Metal. What? Lindor at second or third? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. He's perfectly bodied for a shortstop. He doesn't have the arm for a third baseman. He doesn't have the stick for a third baseman. He's not lazy. And if you expect him to turn double plays from second base coming from shortstop all of his life, he's not going to know what the hell to do. Come on. That's the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Kids are shorts off. Leave them there. Fucking hedge fund managers. Pay the players. Make moves to make your team money. And shut the fuck up when it comes to deciding who to play where. It's ridiculous. Uh, Miguel Yajure. I hope I said that right. It's 
Sean Knowles. Um, auditioning for The Wizard of Oz. That one's numbered one out of five. Right? Park's right. That's a dumb idea. Jared Jones. Black. I have what happened to my focus. Pick one. Beyonce's kid throw gang signs? Pedro Munoz. These cards are gorgeous. I love the design. How it shines. Refracts. It's metally. I love it. Pedro Martinez. Carmen Mladonski. Three out of three. Personally, I would rather buy the card because I would be worried that I would open the case. Nick Gonzalez. Delusions of grandeur. Uh, seven out of 10. Great looking card. Both of them, purple and orange. What if, what if, what if you don't? Do you have $10,000 to lose? So that's what you're gonna lose if you open that. You know, you think anybody's opening 2017 football right now? No, they're selling it sealed. Do you know who opens 2017 football? Degenerate gamblers and idiots. You're kidding. <laughs> Destroyed. Justin Lange. Discipline and patience. That's all. Stick to why you bought it. Pivot if it makes sense. Don't look at it every day. Geraldo Perdomo. Three out of 30. Yeah, yeah, you don't. You're just like, oh, this is cool. I want to buy it and I'm getting in because it's exciting and cool. Yeah, dude. That's why everyone does it. You know how long it would take to fill a break at 2017 Contenders football right now? Jordan Westberg? Actually, it probably wouldn't take that long. But after the Super Bowl?
Jordan Westberg. Right now, I feel like sealed wax is where it's at. Patrick Bailey. It's the safest bet. It's like a uh, blue chip. Just little to no gamble in it. It's like buying Google. Except for you are the one and only person that can destroy it. Cole Wilcox. Yeah, but what happens when you hit the pack? The pack. Everything else is dead. Nobody's going to pay that much. Zach Veen. Eleven out of twenty. Sounds like metals in this one. Like legit. Probably a plastic case. Yep, it's not connected. Damn it. Now shaking it around. Charlie Murphy. If you're a couch. Cards. Uh, Bobby Miller. Redemptions. No. I don't know that. Justin Foscue. Um, I, I mean, they existed for a long time, right? Like... You could do mail-in stuff, uh, like Shaquille O'Neal had a mail-in thing for his rookie. They were just, I don't know, it had to have been in the late 80s. Mason Wynn. Dylan Carlson. Man, these cards are pretty. Jaron Duran. I still can't believe people collect Pullman cards. Just because the guys have a major league uniform on. They don't play for a major league team. They play for a minor league team. They should wear those uniforms. Austin Hendrick. Eat out of 35. That's just me bitching because I like rookie cards, not first cards. Last box. So 
This is the last break of the night. Do we have anything else lined up? Super Break QB's edition, five box break. Has two left. Super Break or uh, Stars and Stripes has two left. I think we can get a couple more. Clayton Beater. Bobby Miller. Carson Tucker. That one is 21 out of 25. Richard Gallardo, 28 out of 30. Nick Sweeney, just a little off center. And your last card is Austin Martin. Top picks. That was a fun break. Shoot load of hits. Uh, that is it though on this one. I'm, I think we're going to do another one uh, tomorrow. I'll load that up along with some straight case breaks of leaf metal. Thank you everybody very much. We appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Up next, super break, quarterback edition, five box break.